Hi, Pat. Hi, Wayne. How you doing? Great. You know, we happen to be sitting here in a particular wonderful layout. It's a wonderful living room. There's a reason why we're here today. Well, before I even get to that point, hi, what's your name? Carmelina. And you are? Oscar. Oscar, cool. Now, don't you guys go away. Pat, there's a reason I'm here today on Saturday, March 21st. What's the occasion? What's the situation? Today is World Down Syndrome Day in celebration of people born with Down Syndrome and the families that love them and care for them. Now I understand, I believe this is like about the 10th year of this, mm -hmm. but there's a real underlying purpose, this sort of like to inform and educate people that there's certain things that we should just know about. Is, is that sort of like the, the gist of it, I think? To raise the level of awareness for Down Syndrome, to recognize that people with Down Syndrome are not different, or I guess they are different, but They should not be treated different. a certain way, right? They should be treated the same. Uh, folks with Down Syndrome have the same dreams, the same desires, the same feelings, the same love for others as anyone else that walks the planet. And today is a special day to raise awareness that um, folks with Down Syndrome are just as typical as you and me. And I think there's an inclusion concept that they should be involved and just accepted into more ways of daily life. Daily life, right? exactly. That people born with Down Syndrome are valuable contributors to our society. Now you have a daughter. How old is she? She's six. And we're going to meet her pretty soon. Yeah. I know that. But don't you go away. And I'll be here. So look. We're hanging out, we're talking. Your thoughts about even me just being in front of you with a camera, how do you feel with that? It's very weird, but I'm very excited. But you're okay. Oscar, are you okay with me holding a camera in front of you? Yes. I know, I have to pay you certain royalties, I know about that. Your situation at home, what's it like? It's wonderful. I have, um, I'm married, I have three other children, and they all look up to Oscar, and... Yeah, cool, yeah. cool. Have you found sometimes, which is why we want to talk about this, that people don't understand the concept of what really happens, and they don't always get involved with things they were they should be getting involved in. Does that sometimes happen? Absolutely. Uh, people I feel feel um, scared about either taking care of someone with Down syndrome or including them in their daily activities, not really realizing that they're able to do many things and just take time for them to get to them, but they'll do them. And I, and I think that's something that a lot of us really don't understand, that there's normal things and there's things that aren't acceptable, but basically they do a lot of good stuff. And I, I don't want to put them in a strange category, but right. they're different but the same. People with Down syndrome are different but the same. Uh, like we said before, they have the same hopes, the same dreams, the same uh, goals to be a good person, to help others, to be educated, to live a happy, good life. Um, just like my dreams are. I think that we as parents actually focus more on their abilities rather than their disabilities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they are very able to do many things, just and like I, all of us. Right? And I think that's what we want people to know. I mean, they could play, they could go to school, they could work, they could do a lot of things that sometimes people wouldn't think is possible, right? Do you find that happening? I yes. do, we do. I mean, who would have thought that he can use an iPhone and text his girlfriend and look up things in YouTube? Hold that thought. <laughs> you text your girlfriend? Yes. Does mom know that you do that? No. No? Oh. <laughs> keep, keep it that way. I'll talk to you about it later. That's cool. Sean, how are you? I'm good, Wayne. Okay, we have a couple over here, by the way. I just want you to know that. Sean, you're, you're, you're feeling about what we're talking about, that we want people to just be aware that Down syndrome isn't a negative thing. It, there's so many positive aspects to it. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I feel the... The positive things is the kids are so happy, you know, they're very, uh, they're very uh, loving. Um, I know, especially with my daughter, she loves to dance, loves music. Um, you know, they just, they're just like normal kids. They just like what uh, every other kid that age would, would love. Yes. Yeah, it's funny because when somebody says, "Oh, what is your daughter like?" You know, uh, the first thing many people expect us to say is, oh, she has Down syndrome. But you know what? She likes to dance. She loves Elmo. She uh, prefers bright colored clo clothes. She um, likes to eat applesauce. Um, there's so many things that she loves. I can say a hundred things about her before I get to the part that says she has Down syndrome. And that's the way, the way we want people to really start to think. Because, again, we're celebrating this uh, event today. 
And I think that's the idea of it, to just make people more aware that, hey, there's a lot more good more stuff, normal stuff going on here than you would ever imagine. And ch people with Down syndrome are more similar than they are different. As a matter of fact, Oscar, you were telling me you want to be a scientist, is that true? Yes. Yeah, how come? You like it? Yes. You like science? Mm -hmm. So when we send people to the moon, you want to go to the moon with me? Yes. Ah, I was hoping you would say yes. <laughs> and I understand that also you like to dance, is that true? Now look, I missed you before doing it. Do you want to give, step, give, me a, give me a quick little move? Come on, come on. It's okay, go ahead. Come on, just for a second. All right, now you took me 20 years to learn how to do that. <laughs> Excellent. One of the things that I think is so important is that people just, just say, look, huh, by the way, I'm pausing because we have a cute dog right here who just did a really cute little thing. Okay, one of the things that I think is important is that the age, and there's various different age levels, but people still perform at that age level like a normal person. I mean, you're, you're working, right? Is that true? Yes. You, you're doing a little bit of work? Tell me about that. What do you do? Through school, right? I think there's a special program for that? Yes. Yeah? Mom, tell me about that program. <laughs> both, you of you, both of you. Both of you. I work in um, Chart Wells. Chart Wells. Okay. At what school? Turner High School. Very good. Okay. Do you still go to memorials sometimes? Yes, on on Wednesdays. And what do you do? What do you do over there? Um, provide juice, milks, and rock cookies. You ever take a couple of cookies home with you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> good man. Good man. And but I think that's important. There are certain programs that want to open up more doors and just let people go through those doors. Is that is that true? Is that, do you find that happening a lot more now? Yes, absolutely. I think, first of all, that our high school is so wonderful. It has a very wonderful life skills program for them to really get them ready for futures uh, job once they graduate at 21. Mm -hmm. um, they start at age 17 where they start with a job coach preparing them with little jobs internal and around the, the, um, the town to help them get prepared so when they're on their own, they can actually learn a job that is a paying job. Uh, so right now as a training, it's not paying, but they do go to um, local restaurants to help them clean bathroom, clean, clean the utensils that they use, just to get them ready. And, and it's just wonderful, the opportunity that, I think the community is actually becoming a lot more embracing on, on looking at their abilities rather than their disabilities once they get to I am finding that to be very true and fell on, by the way. I think we have a wonderful community here. <laughs> We recently just uh, had a grand opening for a inclusionary playground at mm -hmm. Rodan yes, Grove mm -hmm. uh, to have people of different uh, levels and abilities to go and play together, which I thought was like a fantastic thing. I actually covered that from the beginning to the end, the building of it, but the highlight of it was to have the kids just go and play there. And I loved it. And I think that's something that Fell One is standing out about. Do you, do you think that we're going to just see more and more of that happening? Do you think people are going to actually catch on to what we're talking about? I think it's changed so much over the years. Um, 50 years ago, children born with Down syndrome were put in institutions. They weren't even kept at home. I don't know about you, yeah, but when Sean was born, did they ask you if you even want to keep her? Did they come to you? I mean, they approached me they with a book. They actually asked that? Yes, they came to me with a book. He could be like this, he could be like that, and you can either choose to keep him home or institutionalize him. I mean, like, there was oh, wow. no thought whatsoever that Not I was going to keep my own child away. And that's, I think, what a lot of people don't understand. Sometimes you have dealt or life steals you a different hand because you let your peers come across, you actually end up missing on the joy that it is to have yes, a child with a Down syndrome. 100%. 100%. In I found out that um, uh, Shona would have Down syndrome when I was 13 weeks pregnant. And the doctor called me, or the nurse called me, at least three times a week, reminding me that I still had several weeks to terminate my pregnancy if I wanted to come in and make an appointment. And I said, well, no, because she's my child, and my husband and I have a great marriage, and we want to have another someone's child. Got, someone's got to talk to that doctor and smack him around a little bit. <laughs> right. I'm serious. <laughs> but the, the thing is, is that um, folks tend to uh, tell you information that scares you, and they fail to tell you how, uh, like Carmelina said, the joy that would be brought to your life, or how you may be changed to become a better person because you have an opportunity to experience something that's different and not typical. And I see the influence of being Shona's mom in my life. I thought I was a nice person then. I think I'm a little even nicer now. Absolutely. But 